so many of these car enthusiasts, so many amazing vehicles, and they're walking around just jaw drop, tongue hanging out. It's uh, it's pretty neat. We're trying to put that power to the ground. Oh, test drum was awesome. It was a little bit wet, a little bit dry. Uh, we caught the car in front of us. I guess it was kind of just a, a, a warm up run, if you will, but uh, definitely feels good. This, uh, the Air Slayer last year um, had a lot more downforce, but it was a little bit bigger, it was a little heavier. Uh, this car actually has more power. It's a 1983 wagon, uh, so it's got a lot of style points, but it's, you know, the aerodynamics of a brick. So we'll see how that affects it. Uh, real easy to handle though. I feel much more comfortable in the wet, uh, just sliding this car around than I did last year with the Air Slayer. And, uh, a lot more predictable. So with any luck, we'll be able to post a better time than last year. And with any luck, it'll rain and uh, put us in the shot. This is by far my favorite vehicle um, I've ever driven. And uh, not a joking, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, it slides well, it's, it's really central, neutrally uh, balanced. So no matter what you do, you always have traction in the front, you always have traction in the rear. Uh, you can maneuver it however you want. And with the all wheel drive and the massive amount of horsepower, uh, this is, far and away the, the coolest car I've ever been a part of. So uh, we built the car for Subaru of America. The company is Vermont Sports Car. We run the rally and rally cross teams in the US for Subaru of America. And the inspiration of this was a 1983 GL wagon. Uh, it's kind of in between models for Subaru. So we did the 2021 car last year, waiting for the new model to come out. So the idea with this was to do kind of a, a retro mod to have a throwback and have something exciting for the fans that was different. It's a, so it's a two-wheeler chassis. It's the latest WRC uh, space frame roll cage. It's a full carbon body. Of course, largely inspired by the 83 Jim Conna car. Um, KMC wheels that look like the 83 car. Uh, it has a replica dash with a working stereo system. It's got a tape deck in it. Uh, we, we recreated the digital display of the dash. Um, has a six-speed sequential transmission. It's capable of 175 miles per hour. It's 862 horsepower and 2,600 pounds dry. Uh, the goal is obviously to take the win. There's a lot of vehicles that I don't know. There's so much talk about this new Batmobile that's gonna be going up. Uh, that's actually like suction cup to the ground. So we'll see, this is, I think gonna be better than what we had last year um, with the, the Air Slayer. So just because it's kind of a narrow uh, driveway, if you will, up this hill climb. So uh, this is a lot narrower uh, than that car was and has a little bit more horsepower. So despite not having any aerodynamics to speak of, um, you know, maybe a little bit more under braking uh, with the flaps, I really think this is a great vehicle for the hill. Yesterday after the free practice, Travis was saying the car was a bit unsettled, especially on braking. The rear was a little nervous for him. So we made a few changes today to try to calm that down. Um, also, the engine yesterday was pretty safe just to get started and see how everything was looking. So over the next couple of days, we'll just continue to gradually push the engine performance until we start to see maybe it's on the limit and uh, hopefully have it perfect for the shootout speed. And he missed out on getting the fastest time here last year, just by a tiny margin. That thing is radical. The way that all the aero devices come up to try and squash it into the floor in braking is just remarkable. Yeah, it's brilliant stuff. And it was quick yesterday, and it's going to be quick again. It, it actually set the outright pace yesterday. Well, it's yep. fastest car for the first speed trap, that's for sure, 135 mile an hour this time. So it's quick in a straight line. Yeah. Subaru base, it's a 2.3 flat turbo engine, some 860 horsepower apparently in this thing. You Richard, Light, it, would you? Richard Lights had done the fastest time in 48.16 previously, but Travis Pastana has just done a 47.25. Uh, we've had a couple practice sessions. The track's been drying, you know, over the course of a couple days and the times have come down. Uh, we're not quite on the Air Slayer times yet. This car uh, has been taking a lot of setup work. It uh, came from Jim Connor filming, that was the setup and it's going back to Jim Connor filming. So it's uh, it's tricky to find the right setup for the hill climb. Uh, we've gotten down to a 47.25, which is a good time, uh, which is actually the fastest ICD uh, car here at the, the weekend so far. Uh, we've got a big challenge against the McMurray car, but uh, pray for some rain and uh, that'll be a good equalizer. The only surprising part about the British weather is that it hasn't rained hardly at all 
Uh, we were up first round this morning. It was a little bit wet towards the top. But this thing goes good in the wet. It goes good in the dry. It likes to go backwards. It likes to have all the tires slide. And so really, whatever the weather is, we're ready for it. Well, this is the Gymkhana GL wagon. And Travis Pastrana, who's a very experienced off-roader in particular, uh, very talented. This has got a 2.3 flat four-cylinder turbo engine, some 860 horsepower. Let's listen up as he gets ready to go. Oh, that's a launch and a half. 100 metres in, watching over the 100 metres, 4.32. That's not quite the fastest Roman de Vasque with the quickest over that period. But look at the way he works his car. I can't believe how soft the suspension is everywhere. And you can see those aero devices that spring up when he's on the brakes, just to kind of slow the car down, push the car into the ground, get the air. As an assister, through Malcolm, we go. Oh, that was exciting. sideways there. Yeah, we could see the correction. You were looking out the window. Oh, you should have seen it from the window. No wonder they're clapping. Oh, oh. then he clips the bail right next to the flip wall. This is a great drive. Yeah, Whether the car is capable of beating everyone else. We'll see. 34-0. He's right on it. He's the fastest in the second sector. Does he go for it? 45. 45-5 is the one to beat. 46-2. He just loses the time, drops into third place. But that was one of those drives where you think if it was just down to style and skill. You should win. You can see those flaps. They fly up on the on the brakes. So when he goes onto the brakes, the, they automatically switch in. It's an electronic system. And look how, <laughs> how out of shape he was. But he kept the foot in. Uh, that was the bit that you saw from the outside. And we were watching from inside. We could see the opposite lock. And uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful machine. He was runner up here last year. But I think he was pretty happy with the way that that went. Goodwood is absolutely indescribable. I mean, you have the greatest cars ever made combined with cars that may or may not ever be made. I mean, 2,000 horsepower minivan battling for the lead against McMurray that's got two tons of downforce. It looks like the Batmobile uh, against the station wagon, uh, against an all-wheel drive, 11 horsepower electric force. And that's just the beginning. You got Dakar winners, you got F1 winners. This is absolutely the who's who of drivers, the what's one of cars. And to be a part of it is just absolutely amazing. Such a great week.